Hello everyone, welcome to Tale of Spices. Today I'm going to make a raw banana curry and uh, this is one way of making the raw banana curry the South Indian way. Um, we are going to actually use a curry powder uh, to spice it and make it like a roast. So the first thing first we have to cut the raw banana. We have to first cut out the edges and you have to peel them and always Remember that uh, cut raw banana has to be placed in water, otherwise it will oxidize and turn black. Raw banana is actually a very good source of iron. We all know the benefits of banana as a fruit, so raw banana again is a very good source of uh, iron and uh, good carbohydrate. In many religions, especially in Jainism, etc., they don't uh, eat potatoes. So, a lot of the recipes that the Jains make are with uh, raw banana instead of the potato. It's actually one of the good options of using uh, to make uh, cutlets because they have good quantity of starch in them so they are good to bind. So you see I'm cutting them in these uh, one in uh, maybe half an inch cubes and I'm putting them directly in the water. This is simple plain water, no lemon, nothing added in it. So this is just simple plain water. Try to keep the pieces even. Uh, very um, interesting story that I would like to tell you is that uh, my husband has always admired, every time uh, there is somebody cutting uh, beans, he always remembers my grandmother because when we were visiting uh, my grandmom once she was actually, she was simply watching television or talking to us and her hands were moving and cutting the French beans actually and you would not believe at the end of the whole thing, I think she cut about a kilo of uh, French beans, and at the end of the whole thing, you see the bowl, each and every piece, not one piece was different in size, each and every piece was that precisely cut. So, you know, old people, grandmom especially, hats off to them. You know, raw bananas, my um, mom, my perima, they all used to make a powder of the raw banana too, you know, which we used to mix up with hot rice and ghee and eat it up as a, um, you know, one of the dishes to eat with rice. So, here I've taken two raw bananas. Actually, in my family, we love raw bananas, so. Okay, this portion is not too good. I'm cutting it out. And again, your raw banana, whenever you're cutting, your hands would get sticky too. So, you know, if you want, you can um, oil up your hand before you cut it because, you know, they tend to get a little sticky. I actually find cutting vegetables very therapeutic. Sometimes, you know, when I used to work in a school and you know come back with a stressful day uh, you know evening making a salad and cutting vegetables used to be very therapeutic for me so here I have a pan and um, I'm gonna put in that's one teaspoon two teaspoon and a three teaspoon of oil. We're gonna let it heat up. Once it's heated up, I'm gonna add in mustard seeds. This is about half a teaspoon of mustard seeds. Let it splutter. Mm. 
one drive actually just broken in two. Pink. Turmeric. King and turmeric about half a teaspoon. King maybe one fourth teaspoon. Uh, I'm just going to take the uh, raw banana pieces from the water and drop them in the recipe. Cooking raw banana, I usually add the salt in the beginning because you know that helps the insides of the banana also to uh, salt up and get the taste. So I'm adding about one and a half teaspoon. Please use salt to your taste. Some people like it a little salty, some people don't eat salt. So choose accordingly. And I'm going to give it. Banana usually takes about 10 minutes when it is covered uh, to cook. So, depends on the size of your chunks too. If it's really tiny pieces, maybe it would just cook up in, uh, soften up in like five to eight minutes. A uh, little bigger chunks would take a longer time. So this is done and I'm going to cover it and we're going to keep it for about 10 minutes. The powder that I told you I'm going to use to season this is actually a powder which is made home uh, at home. This is a specifically made powder which I use for um, a lot of things to make sambar, to make um, petta koramba and to uh, season uh, ready uh, rices. To make sambar, to make ready rices and uh, even to make uh, like you know uh, different uh, odi for dosa. So, you know, this is actually does not have any salt in it, but you can use it. Uh, if you add a little salt, you can use it as a pudding for your dosa idli also. This is basically made with uh, urad dal, chana dal, lots of dhania, and a little bit of jeera, and uh, a little bit of methi seeds. So, this is actually a go-to powder in my home, which is used for these quick cooking processes. So we're going to wait for uh, five to six minutes for the banana to uh, cook up. After about uh, seven to eight minutes, we are going to check if these have cooked. So you can see that it's become nice and roasted. There, it's cooked. At this time, I'm going to add that uh, curry powder that I said. I'm going to add about two to three teaspoon of it. Depends on how spicy or hot you like it. So, if you like a really spicy food, then you can even add a little bit of red chili powder. But I like this because of the flavor of this uh, dhania. Give it a quick stir. It just takes about a minute after you put in the powder. Just make sure all the pieces are nicely coated with the powder. Your varaka curry is over. 
please don't forget to like share and subscribe to the channel